So there's been a lot of progress this week on the factories, including Giga Shanghai, where we will start. There's an access road being built to the side of the factory to allow new access for deliveries inbound and outbound. You can see the um, they're digging trenches and making it uh, ready for uh, heavy, heavy equipment to come through. On the side, you can see between the battery plant and the um, casting area, they are grading and prepping the area for what I assume is new construction. The ramp from the Model Y building appears to be in the process of deconstruction. Perhaps this was only there to facilitate uh, bringing in new equipment and construction, and they no longer require it, or they're going to be building a much more sophisticated ramp, though I just think they're getting rid of it. In the side yard here, to the side of phase two, you can see dirt being piled around as if they're going to be building something here, which is what I believe is going to happen very soon. The loading docks at the south end of the uh, battery assembly plant um, are uh, apparently fully paved and ready for deliveries. You can see on the road at the very end of the property, it has been paved extensively. Here's some more footage of the paving. Um, the road is going to apparently entirely encompass the building and uh, the drainage area around it is under construction as well. This area between the buildings um, you can see a lot of equipment, a lot of refuse has been piled together as if it's going to be removed shortly, which I believe is the case. Here you can see the bridge to the other side of the factory next to phase one is nearing completion. This is a very heavy duty bridge. In Berlin, things are moving along quickly. Here you can see the building, the main cement concrete building is nearing completion. Uh, in the bottom photo, there is a lot of new additions. And in the casting area, where the footings will be, it is no longer just rebar, but there is a vast amount of concrete already put in place. This will be the footers for the casting or stamping area. We don't know yet which, for sure. But it is, as you can see, moving quickly. The building in the top is nearing completion. But when you see it later in the bottom, it is very close to done. In the bottom, you can see they're ready to pretty much fill the whole place with concrete. Here you can see a quick glance down the gigantic hall. And if you look at the railings on the side, you might wonder what the place is for. It is probably going to be the vertical storage silo for parts. Outside, you can see the siding is going up very quickly. This area has gone from a bunch of skeletal bones to many complete concrete walls with more, you know, pillars and whatnot but the firewalls are in place. It is moving very quickly. There are significantly more roof rafters and it is nearing completion. This is just a quick overview of the site as of this week. You can see a substantial portion of the pillars 
roofs, and frankly everything are in place and moving quickly. This is a substantial uptick in pace from last week. Bit of bonus footage here. This is the new um, switch yard, the new power plant where distribution of power will be done a significant distance from the initial site. And here you can see high voltage cables laid on the brand new ground for. In the bottom, you can see the number of footers is no longer three wide, but five wide with substantially more concrete, vastly more rebar, And as we move south on the property, you'll see a large trench dug out for reasons unknown. And to the left of it, you'll see a new driveway with a brand new parking area for the workers. We don't yet know what this trench is meant to be for, but my guess is part of the factory. As we move into the pit, we will see last week there was one mud slab with some rebar going up. And this week, the whole area has mud slab. Part of it has concrete footing. Much of it has rebar ready to go up beyond that. And this area is getting very heavy. In the pit to the south of it, last week we just saw some rebar, while now we see significant um, forms having been put in place. Some of them, I believe, were already filled. Ah, yes. In the bottom picture, in the bottom video, you can see a concrete pumping truck. That has been filling the southmost um, structure, the southmost footing, with concrete. Also, you can see the center road is getting closer to level with the grade of the property. Previously, it has been used as a drainage area. Now it is being filled in anticipation of construction. In this area, we can see significantly increased rate of GeoPeer installation. GeoPeer is when aggregate crushed rock is rammed into the soil to create a solid footing upon which to place a footing. This has been going pretty much nonstop all week, and the pace is unabated. Over to the side of the property here, you can see it has been leveled, it has been graded, and it has been flattened. This is where the switchyard will go, and it is getting close to ready for equipment to be installed. The temporary construction offices at the top have been relocated. And the retaining pond is nearing completion. The dugout we saw last week is now getting forms placed into it. We believe it is a washout for the concrete trucks to discharge at the end of the day. The concrete plant, the batch plant, the temporary plant, which had been nearing completion, is now in full operation. Now let's look at the Nikola factory. Ooh, in the top left, you can see what the property looked like a hundred days ago, right about the time Tesla began construction in Texas. And on the bottom, the main part of the screen, you can see what it looks like today. Look at that. They put down some chalk. There's some chalk 
in the parking lot for cars of construction workers that will never arrive. Well, we saw two pieces of heavy equipment. Now we see a retention pond, and look at that. Look at that. A third piece of heavy equipment. Good job, Nicola. I'm positive you guys are not a scam. So yeah, check us out. Hit the like and subscribe. Do all that good stuff, and I'll see you next week.